बेलोग्राट सिटी ये एक काफ़ी हिस्टोरिकल सिटी है जो सबसे पहले सारी सिंध नाम से जानी जाती थी फिर स्टेलिन ग्राट के नाम से जानी जाती थी अभी फ़िलहाल इसे हम बोलोग्राट नाम से जानते हैं और सेकेंड वर्ल्ड वॉर में इसका एक बहुत बड़ा रोल रहा है और अभी हमारे पीछे है बोलोग्राट स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी जो रशिया की टॉपेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी है और यहाँ से हजारों हजार डॉक्टर्स बन के पूरे दुनिया में एक रेपटेड डॉक्टर्स की तरह साफ कर रहे हैं और यूनिवर्सिटी 1935 में बनी उसके बाद जब फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर हुआ उस टाइम पे भी जो हमारे डॉक्टर्स थे उस टाइम के पहला बैच था उसने सर्व किया और वॉर पे भी गए उसके बाद से लंबा इतिहास रहा है कि अलग अलग देशों से अलग अलग कॉन्टिनेंट से यहाँ पर लोग आए पढ़ने अभी फ़िलहाल सत्रह सौ से भी ज़्यादा इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स हैं और लगभग दस हज़ार से ज़्यादा रशियन स्टूडेंट्स यहाँ पे पढ़ते हैं और ये एक बहुत गर्व की बात है कि हम भी उस यूनिवर्सिटी का हिस्सा हैं और बहुत भारतीय भी यहाँ से पढ़ के गए जो अभी फ़िलहाल देश में हैं और हम भी जाएंगे और शायद आप देख रहे हैं तो आप भी आएँ तो ये एक बहुत अच्छा एटमोसफेयर है और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि यहाँ का जो टेम्परेचर है वो कहीं ना कहीं यहाँ पे गर्मी भी है सर्दी भी है मीन्स आपको प्लस प्लस फोर्टी से लेकर हम माइनस थर्टी फाइव तक यहाँ पे टेम्परेचर देखते हैं और शायद अभी यहाँ पे घास दिख रही है और शायद एक महीने बाद ये पूरा सफ़ेद हो जाएगा और स्नो हो जाएगी तो ये काफ़ी अच्छा है कि हम एक अलग कल्चर को भी देख रहे हैं साथ में एक अलग एटमोसफेयर देख रहे हैं और तो ये अच्छा है सभी मैंने इन्फॉर्मेशन तो दे दी अब और दिखा भी देते हैं दोस्तों यूनिवर्सिटी या फिर यूनिवर्सिटी के सामने उसका गार्डन और पार्क तो होगा ना तो ये हमारा ब्यूटीफुल सा पार्क अभी अच्छा मौसम है ऑटम एंड होने वाला है तो अच्छा खासा लीफ है यहाँ पे और पूरा येलो कारपेट सा बिच किया है तो गार्डन में और साथ में चर्च भी है जो कि भगवान है तो सब कुछ है आपको वाइस चांसलर का मौका होता है अपने इंडिया में बहुत सारे भाई वाइस चांसलर आ रहे हैं इतने लोगों के साथ आ रहे हैं तो हमेशा आपको मिलवा ही देते हैं क्योंकि इतना है तो आपको भी जानना चाहिए ना कि कैसे हमारे वाइस चांसलर तो हमने एक मीटिंग फिक्स की है वाइस चांसलर के साथ भी और हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी के डीन के साथ भी और डीन ऑफिस के अदर स्टाफ के साथ तो सबको सबसे मिलवाएंगे आपको क्योंकि अब यूनिवर्सिटी तो आपकी भी है ना सब लोग मिल के जानेंगे साथ Wherever we go Hello we are overwhelmed and joyous to have a conversation with Natalia Alshu she is the vice chancellor of Volgograd State Medical University which is the most prestigious university of Russia first of all uh, firstly i would like to ask you how would like to dis uh, describe our university Well, you know, a part that you told that is one of the best medical schools in Russia. So, um I would like to tell you a few words that I have received from the uh, resident of Volgograd. They say that for them the medical university is a sort of Hogwarts if you remember the Harry Potter. So, um this is a fantastic place because, you know, we educate future doctors. and the doctor is the noblest profession of today this is why it's a big responsibility for us and this is almost a big responsibility for you as for students so you have to understand that you study to be a doctor to save the lives of the of the persons so uh, how do you feel as a vice chancellor of more than 70, 1700 international students <laughs> well, i feel absolutely fine So um yes we have a big number of international students 
uh, it's close to 2000 and all of you are from different countries from with different um, cultural heritage legacy from different mentality and um, um, I believe this is a big big chance for me to develop like a person and um, to develop like a professional and even it's a nice chance for you to enrich your world I mean which will help you ahead in your life trust me uh, so a few words about Indian students maybe. sorry a few words about Indian students yes yeah, sure so what do you think about like Indian students well Indian students they have a special part in my heart because let me tell you that my grandfather he was working in India for many years and then my father used to go um, to India quite often for business as well. He was a professor at the Technical University. Um, and, um, maybe you can say the name of the university in India, where he was professor? No, he was professor here in Bangladesh okay. in Technical uh -huh. University and he was working with Indian colleagues. Okay. And my grandfather, he was an oil engineer, so he was uh, a res doing some oil resources in India, so decades ago. And um, my first, um, let me say, author that I was um, really engaged with was Rabindranath Tagore. Yeah. So I, I love his books very much. So he's really a wonderful author. So uh, how do you manage your university duties? Because you have a busy schedule and you have to work with uh, international students also. So how do you? Well, you have to work with all your heart, with all your passion. And whatever you are doing, you will do that successfully. That's very old. Same for you as a doctor. So how do you uh, motivate and hearten the other staff of uh, the university, like other professors? And Listen, other as I told you before, as for the students, I would say you have to be visible. You have to be visible for your classmates. You have to be visible for your professors. Then you will gain whatever you want. There is no word impossible for me. It does not exist. Everything you want is possible. Simply look for your future ideas, what you want to gain in your life, and everything will be fine. This is how do I encourage my colleagues, because we are only one team, and how do I encourage you? Just be visible, look straight forward, and do whatever you need to do. That's very all. Uh, every year, thousands and thousands of doctors are graduated from our university. And for being as parents of there, how you feel about them? Well, I told you that we are proud of our alumni and I have to tell you that many of our alumni are working worldwide as the general doctors, as the um, uh, local authorities, as the international authorities, they are working in the international organizations, so we are really proud of them and they are really proud about their alma mater, they used to come to us, they used to get to be in contact with us. So just a year ago, our Indian uh, girls have graduated, our Indian doctors have graduated and right now they're working in India as doctors. So we're really proud of them. And we're doing our best to serve the connections for the lifetime, because this is very important for us. And as I told you, you save lives. So please think on that, how much responsible is your future profession? Always remember that. So, what are your plans for the succeeding years? Well, um, you know, right now with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's not easy to make any plans. But still, we are looking forward and um, we have some uh, plans in cooperation with the um, Indian universities. The one we are, let me say, hope to get a cooperation agreement with is Dr. MGR Tamil Nadu University, and we are in contact with them and with the help of the Russian House in Chennai, we are working on this target. And I hope with the agreement you will have a place for the practice when you are home, and to be able to see your home practice as the you know how the medical system is working in India directly because we're teaching you the Russian medical system and you have to learn and to be in touch with the, uh, your native one. So probably very soon you will have such a possibility. So, thanks a lot for your Thank you. precious time. Thank thanks you. So Thank you very much.
Ну, first of all, I am Dean for International Students of the Volgrad State Medical University, Dr. Emilianov. So, I graduated this university and already more than 20 years in this position. Uh, Volgrad State Medical, one of the best medical schools in Russia. Already 50 years we teach international students. More than 4,000 international citizens graduated our university from more than 127 countries that's why Volgograd State Medical well known in the whole world and we are happy to have a lot of international students right now we have about 2000 international students from more than 50 countries that's why this is policy of our university, they will accept more international students and that's why actually I think we will be one of the best medical schools for international students in Russia. In Russian universities, in Russian medical schools, that all our officials, deans, deputy deans, vice chancellor, even chancellor, uh, they are at the same time professors, associated professors in the university departments. Because to organize studying process, to organize students, you should know everything about studies, you should know everything about students. That's why it's a regular work, of course, it takes a lot of time, especially right now when we have problems with COVID epidemic, when a lot of students still out of Russia, we should organize everything. No, this is job, this is work, this is hard work, but if you want to do this, you do this. This too. Deputy Dean for International Students of Volgrad State Medical University. Our university has a long uh, history and uh, we teach more than 85 years and next year we'll celebrate 60 years of teaching international students. Uh, our university is extraordinary, it is recognized by the World Health Organization and it is well known in many countries. Totally, we have prepared more than 4,000 uh, doctors, pharmacists and dentists uh, for more than 120 different countries. To our future doctors, to study hard and to, be to become very high level professionals. Good.
кафедры русского языка и социально-культурной адаптации в ОГМУ. В условиях пандемии мы работаем с нашими студентами дистанционно с использованием программы Zoom. И, конечно, у Zoom есть свои преимущества. Мы можем показывать студентам больше иллюстративного материала. Наши студенты могут участвовать в различных играх и других интерактивных.